sell his million dollar home to buy a $50,000 foldable modular home by Boxable. Some interest from Elon Musk. He didn't want to build houses on Mars. He <laughs> wanted to build them at his rocket launch uh, station in Texas. Mm -hmm. So we told him, no, thank you. It was exactly one year ago today that I was at the Boxable factory and I asked them then if Elon Musk was going to be a part of Boxable. I didn't get really a straight answer then, but it looks like the headlines have caught up to exactly what I was asking over a year ago. So today we're going to be talking to Galliana Tremani one more time and asking them exactly what's going on with Elon Musk. When is Boxable going to be available? And if the price has increased any since the last time we spoke and all the other burning questions that you've been wondering about. Now, Elon claims he's still has the San Francisco Bay Area home that's currently for sale for $37.5 million. He's going from this six bedroom, 10 bathroom home that he listed in May of 2020 for 35 million. And Elon tweeted out recently, this is the only home he has left. And he's renting out a $50,000 boxable casita. The size of a boxable is about 400 square feet. It does come with a full size kitchen with a large refrigerator, double sink, oven, dishwasher, microwave, and shaker cabinetry. The bathroom is a shower tub comp combination, vessel sink, large countertop, backlit mirror, and sliding glass barn door. The ceilings in the casita are 9.6 feet tall. It comes with double paned windows, wide plank composite flooring, built-in ironing center, washer dryer, and heated and air conditioned. So what we're building here is just a room module. We can fit it out with anything inside. So this one's a little studio apartment. And the cool thing is when this unfolds from the eight and a half footprint, it's done. Uh, not including the couch and the bed. Those you'll have to bring in after. But this kitchen, uh, bathroom, uh, electrical, flooring, HVAC, everything is done in the factory. Galliano Tremani, once again, it's good to see you. I just want everybody to know exactly who you are if they haven't watched our previous videos that we've done together about Boxable. Hey there, nice to see you. Um, yeah, so I'm Galliano Tiramani. I'm one of the founders of Boxable. Uh, Christine and I met back when she did a couple of videos on our new company. Uh, since then, a lot has happened. Uh, Christina, when you came to visit last, we were in our prototyping warehouse. We had just uh, uh, early stages to, to prove the concept. And now we're setting up a, a big factory. Uh, in fact, the, that big factory is almost finished. So pretty cool. We should be moving in there soon and turning on mass production of uh, boxable houses. So last year at this time, you told me that you wouldn't be building any houses for Elon Musk unless he let you build the houses on Mars. So what is it that's changed that actually allowed you to build a house for Elon Musk? I want to know how this even came about. Oh, man, I did say that, huh? And I think I think you uh, you cropped out his head and put it on my body or something as well. <laughs> uh yeah, you know, Elon Musk is a cool guy, but unfortunately I just have no comment on it. Box Plus, no comment on it. Since the beginning of the pandemic, the building materials throughout the country have gone up exponentially. Does that mean the quality of the boxable product has gone down or you have changed some things with everything that's going on with the supply chain? Yeah, you know, it's been really uh, crazy timing for us. I mean, this is uh, something that you know, I don't think we've ever seen supply chain issues like this in 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 history at all. Um, so, causing a huge amount of issues for us that we're navigating. We have um, you know serious shipping delays. We're navigating it, um, and um, I'm not super worried. This is a this is not just a, a boxable problem. This is a problem that everyone has to kind of face equally. So, you know, we're all going to have to pay this those same prices. And I think that our uh, the the principles we have at Boxable still put us ahead of ahead of everyone else. So you know the the standardization, the scale, the shipping solution, the repeatability, the automation that we hope to have, uh, all those different things they still apply. Um, and you know one thing that positive that's come out of it is it's um, it's motivated me to to innovate even more and and bring the cost down. Through, through smart design. So they're still mold resistant, they're still fire resistant, and they're still eco-friendly? Yeah, we're, we're working um, to, you know, outperform on, on all those different things, um, you know, kind of constantly uh, testing different materials and possibilities. Um, you know, I think it's going to kind of be like, just like an iPhone or, or a car or any other product where you get kind of a new version every couple of years. I think that's how it's going to be with Boxable. We're just going to keep 
improving the, the product. I know that building materials have gone up exponentially. And now that you're keeping it at that price point, is there anything that has changed in the quality? Are you going to changing any kind of the materials? Or are they going to be the same as they were over a year ago? Yeah, I mean, we've had such a tremendous amount of outreach uh, and, and interest in Boxable. It just continues to amaze me. I think we have over 40,000 uh, people on the wait list. And that does include people that want to use this for disaster relief uh, type of scenarios. So, uh, you know, once once this factory turns on and we're really close to that, hopefully we can supply some some really cool units. Hopefully we can do an off grid version for uh, disaster relief type stuff, uh, rapid deployment. Um, you know, definitely a, a huge potential use case for the product. Now, in previous clips, we have actually spoken about the fact that um, these casitas would be really perfect for things like disaster relief. Has any state or federal government reached out to you to uh, maybe buy these ahead of time uh, in case there is a natural disaster throughout the country? Yeah, you know, we've um, had discussions with a whole bunch of different government customers, uh, potentially, both on the uh, federal and state level. Um there's interest from all over. People recognize that this could be a, a great solution. Uh, and then, of course, you know, our, our first order that we're producing these uh, first batch of houses for it is for the, the federal government. Uh, but this one is for military based housing. So hopefully after they uh, get a chance to, to test out the product, uh, they'll be back for more. Now, is Elon planning to purchase these casitas, the boxables for his whole community that it's going to be at that space center? Is he like building a whole neighborhood full of casitas? They're just going to be a bunch of little boxables. Certainly, we would love to do that. Um, and we'll see what happens. Uh, we do have a, a, a big customer list that includes uh, a lot of interest from all over the place. I know that Musk did say something about a $50,000 house, but unfortunately I cannot comment. All right, since you can't confirm or deny if Elon Musk is actually has a boxable that he's living in, if you were to make one for him, would you configure it in a certain way that would be specific for Elon? No, I don't think so. Um, I think what we've engineered is pretty good and kind of one of the, uh, core principles here is to just have this standardized product that we crank out the same thing over and over. Once we start doing custom stuff, we would lose a lot of efficiencies. Um, the boxable model, it, it, we would only really do custom designs for a very, very large order. Uh, and even in that case, we might not. Um, so yeah, you know, we uh, definitely. All right. So when is a boxable going to be available for the masses? People have been waited with bated breath for the boxables to roll off the assembly line. Yeah. You know, we have this uh, big factory in North Las Vegas. It's 170,000 feet. So that's like, you know, uh, four football fields or something. Uh, huge, huge place. Uh, almost all set up. We got all the equipment bolted down. We are at the final stages there. Uh, the next thing we're just waiting on now is the city inspections to give us our final certificate of occupancy. And I'm hoping in the next few weeks, uh, we move in there and we start getting to work and, and start production. Uh, meanwhile, I've got, you know, uh, dozens and dozens of, of toilets and kitchen cabinets and uh, sets of wallboard and everything you could need to build houses all kind of piling up in the corner. And we're, we're getting close to turning this thing on. I, and then I expect that we would spend the rest of this year delivering this first order that we have to the government. And then after that, um, hopefully we've learned a few things, hopefully production's going quickly by then, and we can open it up to the rest of our wait list. And, you know, that wait list is, is very large, um, but, you know, this factory is pretty big too. We, we should be producing, um, projected to produce about 300 per month. Um, so yeah, and that will just be kind of to, to prove the concept and hopefully we can scale it from there. Now you've had over a year, have you been able to do some extra testing as far as its durability? You know, so we're going through uh, full testing. Uh, that's everything from a multi-hour rated fire test to uh, water intrusion test, um, different types of, of crushing of the building and the walls in different directions, earthquake test, everything you can imagine. We're doing it through a, through a third party, and then eventually we'll be publishing that 
test data to kind of prove that these are better buildings. Here's a question that everybody's been asking me. They want to know if there's any kind of special financing that people could do if they were looking to finance a boxable for their specific area. Because I don't know if you know this or not, that FHA will not allow you to do a 30 year mortgage unless it's like $65,000 and above. So you're not gonna be able to get a standard mortgage. Is there a company that Boxable is working with in order for people to be able to finance these? Yeah, you know, we would hope that these would, uh, you know, qualify for most loan programs since they're gonna have that modular certification if they were used as the principal, you know, structure on the on the property. But in most cases, because the initial market is the the backyard house, the backyard accessory dwelling unit on an existing property, you wouldn't be able to get that um, new mortgage. However, we have a, a bunch of different programs lined up. Um, those include, you know, just home equity loans, those include uh, refinances. So they'll do refinance loans where you're allowed to make home improvements on your house. And that can include a, a accessory dwelling unit, we'll have um, shorter term, higher interest, uh, a credit check only based loans. Uh, we might even have an equity uh, sharing program. Uh, so we are working on you know every solution that you can imagine for that that's available. And we'll have them all set up on our website once we uh, are a little further along uh, to make it easy for people to finance. So did you ever make the Boxables bulletproof? Well, they're not all bulletproof, uh, but we were able to make it bulletproof. Um, I don't think... Uh, I don't think the use case, uh, you know, justifies the extra cost for most people. Uh, you know, most people don't need to, you know, pay extra for a bulletproof house. But uh, we did, we did figure out how to do it, and uh, I think there may be a demand for for bulletproof houses. So uh, we'll have that in our back pocket. Now I understand that you have this casita, and it's just the one floor plan. But is it accessible for like wheelchairs or the disabled? Is there a function or a way for someone to be able to order one of those, or is that something that you plan for the future? Yeah, so we did plan ahead and create a model for that. Um, it really consisted of, of two main tweaks. Uh, one was making sure that, you know, the wheelchair, when you drive it in, it can fit through the door and then it can rotate, you know, rotate in the kitchen, rotate in, in the bathroom so they don't kind of get stuck in there. And the other thing was uh, lowering the counters a little bit and adding in some, uh, some handrails and boom, yeah, it's totally compatible with that. And we'll have a version that uh, specifically designed for the wheelchair accessibility. Now, when we first met, you told me it was only going to take me two hours to put together a boxable. But when I got to the factory, by the time it was all finished, it would actually only took about 48 minutes. So now, have you done anything to improve the amount of time? Because you were talking about a button that- I think we're going to get it to the point where you just press a button and it opens up. That's what I told him you should do. And that would just make it automatically unfold. Is that something that's available now or is that still something in the future? Um, definitely have a button in the works. Um, we haven't physically built it yet, uh, the bracket tree and stuff for that, but we do have it all drawn up. So totally have a, an easy way to unpack these things. Uh, so hopefully they can, they can beat your time and have a record setting time, uh, to unfold it. We may have a few different kind of upgrades and, and options, but for the most part, it's just going to be, you know, you guys can, can tweak these and modify them uh, as you please. Uh, we'll probably provide some instructions and, and guidelines of how to do various things and, and attach various things. Um, but we think for the most part, the end users are gonna be customizing these. And we think that we're providing this, you know, mostly complete uh, room module that's taken all the hard work out of it. And then the, the builder, you know, uh, or customer can just do some final touches and tweaks and, and, and you know, uh, pimp it out. I would bet a rich person could invest in a boxable. So, um, the, 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 yes, the average person, if they wanted uh, boxable, they should go on the website, boxable.com slash reserve, put their name on the wait list. And then as soon as we're ready with our production schedule and next steps, we're going to reach out to everyone and uh, start getting people uh, lined up to, to receive uh, boxable houses. So once the factory gets going, your new factory that's being built, are you gonna be able to turn these casitas that you have as the original plan into multi-family units or turn them into apartment complexes? Is that something that could be done right now? These first units, they do stack and connect. So totally uh, within the scope of the system. I think early on we'll probably 
uh, release a, a casita model, kitchen bathroom, and then also just an empty room module. Uh, so then people can get creative with it. They can connect that. They can maybe add in some walls, make it into bedrooms, whatever they need. Um, they are they are rated to stack a few stories. And I think we're going to come out early with a bunch of uh, pre-approved plans for uh, connecting units. I know the news reports say that you have a relationship, and I know you won't confirm or deny that you do have a relationship with Elon Musk. But I do know that your, your original plans were to put uh, the boxables on Mars. Is that still in the works? Could you just uh, like replace my face in this frame with one of those big uh, zipper emojis? <laughs> but um, the uh, uh, I would love to. I would love to go to Mars or or any type of uh, space you know exploration. Uh, so we'll just have to find someone, to, someone with a rocket to, to hitch a ride on. I don't know who could, who could provide that. So the boxables are still going to be $50,000. They're still going to end up uh, having the same exact materials as they promised over almost two years ago now. And they are going to be in production soon. And I will be visiting the factory they promised me. If you want to see some more videos about Boxable, go ahead and click this video right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer. And I tell you all this. Because good real estate information matters.